Yeah, you can't even get this shit without mad jumping. Oh, he got the drop downs, cuz! Oh, and it's a manual? Yep. Oh, this is a drift truck. Find <laughs> <laughs> out. I don't know what's gonna happen. What y'all think? Leave it in the comments. Do you think he's gonna achieve a donut with this big ass truck, or do you think it's just gonna be an ultimate fail? Leave that in the comments right now, because he's really trying. He's putting some WD 40 on the ground, some tires, everything. So I took a weekend off, so I didn't do any filming. So the content that I was filming was stuff that I kind of didn't really feel like putting out. But this right here, I had to do some pedal modifications and cleaning because my sim racing experience was suffering hella bad because my pedals were sticking. I was getting random brake applications, random gas applications, and that shit was trash. So right here, I put my pedals together and then I decided to give them a good test on Grand Turismo Sport. You see I'm flying, there's no brake lights flickering. That means the brake pedals are not sticking and having random applications. And being in full throttle of this car around Nürburgring made me feel like I owned a real super. That thing was flying, my boy. And I did a 440 horsepower mile because at that time, they were having 440 horsepower two supers like hotcakes. So I just wanted to see what that car did and how it performed. Maybe later on I'll do a video about a full Nürburgring lap with a 440 horsepower super. And good morning from Sonoma Raceway. It's been a hectic day already. I've ran around trying to do everything in the world that I could. We've got the peanut set up down at the skid pad. They're supposed to be guys on track, but I don't know how that's going along. Um, the schedule is quite a bit off right now. We have Pro 2 shootout. It's happening here. The donut pad's active. The skid pad's active. And this is where the main event's gonna take place. Pro 2 shootout. Three drivers are gonna leave from this weekend with their Pro 2 license. Today is going to be a full day of practice so you can get your lines dialed in. Uh, I set up the judges booth um, and technical staff is going to be up here. Spotters, I do believe, are going to have their area right here. I got the Sonoma booth set up behind us so I'll keep my car at and run back and forth. Obviously, we've got um, VR Mobile Racing. They're over there. We've got the sim rig set up. Really, really fucking hectic already. I've been running all over the place. I should have brought my motorcycle. I wanted to bring my motorcycle, but um, things changed. So I'm out here. I am wearing the OG merch. Those that understand, they understand. Those that know, they know. The OG merch, first gen merch. I've got the backpack today as well. Rocking, oh, look who that is. FD staff right there. I've got my OG shit. I got my new gen shit. We just got shit today. Well, let me put this down and brief with the staff. Ooh, boy, boy. Long journey? Yeah. <laughs> Solid ass build, man. He was out here on Wednesday, he had his practice runs in. That was way too deep. He's definitely entering with more moxie than the rest of them. So uh, that's what happens when you get out here and get this practice in on this track. This track is really fast. A lot of people are shortcutting it. Let's see what he's got going on. Good line. A 
little too much handbrake. But as they progress through the day, guys give them way more courageous. I'm waiting to see the guys come out on track that have been driving the track for years. Honestly, we last time we did Sonoma Drift, Summer Jam here was probably 2013. As long as I can think properly, but oh, sent it. But once guys get the feel for the track that haven't been here before, I'm sure some of the more talented drivers are going to get real courageous and send it up over this hill with a good amount of speed. Things have definitely picked up. Practice is going strong. I'm believing that most of the drivers that are participating have driven, but there are some guys that still haven't hit the track for practice. For now, we're just chilling in here listening to some music. Yes, the swag. All right, so the day is winding down. We're pulling up here for the driver's meeting. It is the dustiest my interior has been in ages. But uh, we're gonna run in here to the driver's meeting. We're gonna time lapse it a little bit. We've got a few drivers. We're gonna go over a few fine points that we wanna see. Yo, what's up, bud? How you doing? Man? Good driving out there. How you like that S14? You see? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You see? So what do you think? Uh, it's a very similar to my Mustang. The uh, the wide strap to the Mustang angle works really the same. So you're only uh. This has a longer wheelbase than the Mustang, or the Mustang has a longer wheelbase than this? This is two inches longer. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Two inches longer. So it's not too big of a deal. No. Power-wise? Whole oh, different world. Because you could rev it further, and the power is up a lot higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool, dude. I'm I'm happy to see you driving um, something like that. And yeah. it allows you, as a driver, to try some shit that probably weren't going to try or do in the Mustang. Boy. Oh, we gotta check the inside them OMPs. I'm thinking about switching to OMPs. Boy. Driver's meeting's over with, but guys, a little bit of info. We're gonna do another driver's meeting tomorrow morning, uh, 8 a.m. We're gonna start the party, so that's quick for tonight. I didn't want to show too much practice. Man, that car looks amazing. Yes, yeah, so I didn't want to show too much practice because, I mean, yeah, we're gonna get to see some driving tomorrow. I don't want to take too much time in this video with practice runs. So it's gonna be all night for me. It's gonna be a quick couple seconds for you. So yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Now this right here excites me because I've sat in on countless FD drivers meetings and for a lot of these drivers this is their first taste of the pro shit. So they're getting ready to sit here and enjoy this first drivers meeting and get an ear full of stuff. So check it out. Okay. Take the side to side and after you go through the whole loser bracket, at the end of the day, the winner of the loser bracket goes back to the winner's bracket to have a chance to win the whole thing. So basically, very simple system as long as you follow the number of the bracket, you can just follow along as we go to make sure you are where you're supposed to be. Throughout the entire day, your spotters can check with control from the top to see where we're at, or your crew guys can check with myself in the hot pits to make sure you're where you're supposed to be, when you're supposed to be there. And with that, that means that all the drivers need to stay with their cars all day long. Until you lose twice, once you lose twice, you're done. But until that point, stay with your cars. Don't go wandering off to go get lunch or do anything else or try and go up to the spotter stand. Stay with your car and be ready to go. If I'm running towards you, yelling at you, you means you've already lost and you've missed your spot. And trying to get away from the chase driver, 
in any way that compromises landing or style. That's running low, the angle, just be lining through the course, trying to get through as fast as possible. If you don't like it, don't do it. We'll notice it and you'll be uh, deducted for it. Chase and they're doing it there and like the car or whatever, and you're going to need to keep up if they gap you by, let's say, five car lengths instead of moving into the next chase. But are they missing the clipping points? Are they running shallow angle? We'll see all that because we're preparing to lead the lead, so we'll notice that. And if that's the case, then. <laughs> start a competition day open practice for 30 minutes i gotta get their runs dialed in so i just took the liberty to throw a time lapse in because the mic was maxing from the cars in the wind and i just couldn't fix it so from the driver's seat these cars are coming up this hill they can't see anything until they clear where that blue and yellow rumble strip is so as though we can see the whole track on the run up they can't see anything as far as the rest of this lower portion of track until they get right up there where that rumble strip is virtually going in blind once they made their transition from inner clip one going in and clip two and they're just standing on it with the hopes that they put it in the right location so that they don't fly off and hit this nice comfortable cushion tire wall in front of us. Our are getting ready to leave the line and uh, we're going to see Julian Dunay. He's in the lead right now and Tudor will be in chase. And here they go, up the hill, a little bit wide on that inner clip two or a little more off the right here and let's see if he overcooks it or not. That's a little bit of proximity made, but it was, as you can see, the dust cloud on the state made it the lead portion of track. So judges are gonna go ahead and deliberate with that and we will see who will proceed and move on in competition. He's on his way. Alright, so we've gotten through the first set of battles. Battles are pretty good so far. Some drivers gave up their win. It's pretty disheartening and unfortunate when you deal with that, but with the setup, they don't have to go home. So they got another chance to battle, another opportunity to get it done, and they better hold it down and get it cleared out because uh, competition is actually stacking up pretty good and fools ain't playing. So we're going to go to lunch for a second. Let's get that happen and see what's going on with lunch, and then we'll come back in here and finish the event out. All right, so what I'm hearing over radio, it looks like it's going to be car 919, which is Mike Power versus Mr. Love himself, 710, with all of the love. He's leaving well, he his power some love, but power overpowers the love. We're going to see how this plays out, but what I'm going to say is these are two impressive drivers. We've been watching them all weekend. They came here, they learned the track, they learned the line, and now they are running it as a real man should. So what we're going to see is these two men go through battle, and we're going to see who ends up to be the victor. When this comp is over, I don't want you guys to leave because we're going to bring all the cars up here and we're going to come behind the Slinger trailer and we're going to do our award ceremonies right there. We've got some pretty good um, trophies here. They are metal, but they are very crafty. The drivers are going to appreciate them and you guys are going to appreciate them raising them up getting sprayed with champagne. So, when the comp is over, just turn around and come over here to the Slinger trailer right behind the booth that I'm speaking at and we are going to have the award ceremony there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 919710, Mr. Power, Mr. Love is pulling to the line. Mr. Power is going to be leading the love train, and we're going to see what happens here. We are going to go and send them. This is possibly the final run. It can go one more time if both of the guys are the dead stalemate, but we are possibly seeing the final love and power battle here. And, uh, you know, who's going to spread love? Who's going to show power? We're going to see, but I hear him coming in. Nice initiation at that one cone. Mr. Power comes in, pours on some angle. Mr. Love is following right behind him. Mr. Power is Love is short and shallow, but Mr. Power is throwing it like he knows what to do with it. Lord have mercy. That is one hell of a run right there. Now, Mr. Rub is keeping up pretty good. We're going to see what happens in this lead run. And again, they are going to have to swap their talents for lead and chase position. But, you know, we got to wonder, what is Mike Pollard telling him right now? He's like, look, my man, what I want you to do is go Super Japan. Throw it in backwards. Come up the hill. 14 clutch kicks. I want to see you transition with your wet, with your hand out the window. It's got to go down because he's got to dab on him on the exit. He's got to do all kinds of things. But... What we're going to do is see these guys line up here on the line, and we are going to run the final run. So, like I said before, 
when this run is done, do not leave. Just turn around and walk on over here to the next trailer behind us. We're going to have the award ceremony right there. And we will announce who wins because who knows what may happen here on this next run. Here we go. I hear love coming on down. And here goes the late initiation. Mr. Power is close behind. Mr. Love coming on up on the tight angle. He is right. He's making a little bit of gap. Mr. Power is showing composure, killing the outer zone. I, ladies and gentlemen, that is the last run of this battle right here. Oh, man. I like being part of the culture, being in a good position to um, do what I do. Uh, this is a change in pace for me. Uh, you know, I'm typically a driver, but announcing was pretty tight. And the fact that I didn't know people, got to know people throughout the day, gain new friends and things like that. This is this is a very solid way to do that as a announcer instead of a spotter and instead of a driver. So um, we get to see people reap the benefits of their hard work and their efforts for the weekend. And I get to feel great because I don't have to pack a car. Let me just jump on my bike and mob to the crib. So let's just get this driver... Um, you know, celebration going on, and man. Uh, Eugene. You're so From Santa Rosa, California, Matt Madrigali. Third place. Uh, you've already had a Pro 2 license, but you have another one now. So, big thank you to US Drift and all the guys that helped out. The, just to let you guys know, we had uh, three Formula D judges here. Uh, Kevin Wells, who's a technical inspector and also the backup judge. And then uh, Brian Eggert. Huge uh, round of applause to Brian Eggert, Kevin Wells, and Andy Yen for... Uh, putting together really uh, an awesome judging panel and uh, their buddies from US Drift came and really made this event run smoothly. Uh, Matt, congratulations on the third. Hold on, who do y'all think got second place? Yeah, who do you guys all think got second place? You back there? Probably. In your mom's heart, definitely. Mike Fuller, who do you think got second place? Second place goes for the gentleman from Colorado, Josh Love. Come on, the love man. The love man. Spread the love. Congratulations on your Pro 2 license, Josh, all the way out here from Colorado. What's that? All the way, uh, all the way from oh, yeah, Denver. all the way from Denver. All the way from Denver? Yeah. And is this your only Pro 2 shootout that you're doing, or did you do other ones? We have one next weekend in Colorado Springs. And tell me, who helped you get here? Um, After Hours Autosports, Justin, uh, Mike Pollard, he came out and did uh, spotting for us. I mean, totally changed the game with us. Um, impacted Raps, MoFab tuned the car. I mean, just killer teamwork. Killer teamwork. Big team, big team here. Big, lots of love to, to, in general, and you know, all puns intended. But tell me about the fans. Tell me about the course. What you guys think about this event? Um, I came here for Winter Jam. Couldn't wait to drive it. Um, got super comfortable. Love the track. We'll definitely be back here. Awesome. And uh, congratulations again. Uh, congratulations on a Pro Two license. And in first place, we have the obvious, Mr. Mike Power. Yeah. yeah. Mike, congratulations, man, on a Pro 2 license. Is this your first Pro 2 license? Yes. And you traveled from where? New York. Woo! New York to California for a shootout. Honestly, we're honored to have you, and a big round of applause for the distance these gentlemen have traveled. Almost 3,000 miles here. Tell me about who helped you get here. Uh, first off, my family because they support me nonstop and make it super easy for me to get to places like this. Got my team on the East Coast. Unfortunately, they couldn't make it out with us, so we uh, we got a team together out here. Some of them couldn't make it today. Uh, even my spotter had to leave last night, so my girlfriend, Stephanie, love you to death. She was my spotter today. Did an excellent job. Made it super easy for me. And all my sponsors just keeping in check with us and just seeing how we're doing, seeing if we need anything. Just everyone is just coming in clutch and make, really making it happen for us. And I really appreciate it. Awesome, guys. Well, uh, let's see some champagne and big round of applause for the boys. Thank you to all the judges, U.S. Drift, Sonoma Raceway, and especially the fans. There you go.
almost, almost. Oh, oh yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, not only do we have trophies, but you got security <laughs> weapons too. <laughs> Winter Jam and around next year. Oh yeah, y'all definitely gotta come to Winter Jam. So if you ain't fucking with this, you better come fucking Winter Jam for real. Yeah, we're, gonna have, uh, um, we're gonna have some fun. We gone. Announcing my man. Hey, my guy. Good to see you. I need to see you driving next time. <laughs>